folks, a couple of days ago I showed you um, a Class 31, the way I'd stripped it and painted it and there was a couple of people who said that the product sounded really good. So it kind of made sense to try and take the chance to show you how it worked. So, there we are. Oh, that's in shot. Deluxe Materials Strip Magic and any methylated spirits. I put the Strip Magic on here about five minutes ago, if that. I can already see, I don't know whether you was kind on camera, but it's starting to go up there and there. So, cotton bud, cotton bud, depends if you can see that. And uh, we'll just put that on there. Now, this actual model has had more coats of paint than I can't remember. Um, reason being is because I can't make my mind up what colour I want it. So, it's got its original, and I think it's got a green and I think it's got a black and then it's got a blue and on that side it's got two different blues and I'm not happy with any of them so anyway it's got a lot of paint to get through um, looks like this is a little early yet it's taking it off but it's a little slow so I might have jumped the gun with this one for the sake of the video so what I'll do is I'll pause you for a little while maybe and uh, give it another 5 minutes because I normally leave them 10 minutes but you can see there in the cotton bud that's just full of paint and that wasn't really worth trying so we'll pause for a second and then we'll come back so from there. Another few moments have gone by um, I've had a go with the roof um, I've cleaned off most of the roof already um, just in case you don't believe me there's the black on the tips off the roof so I'm just checking to make sure that I have no more I did only put one coat of black on this roof so all I've done is kind of took it back to the original black that was there Oh I'm now looking to think myself somebody painted this before me. Hey, there's something else under there. Anyway, that doesn't help on camera because you can't see that. Let's get to what you can see. So, let's have a go at this blue. See where we get to. So as you can see, you put the mats on, onto your cotton bud, and just basically rub away. Um, there's no real effort involved here um, it's the mets that lifts it in the sense of the strip magic I believe takes away the adhesiveness of the paint off the surface you're working on and then the mets just obviously picks the paint up but you can see there how easy it is there are other ways to do this you could use a cloth you could use a brush um, but after damaging one of my locals the class 40 that I showed you the other day I don't want to do that no more I'm trying to be gentle for the change but as you can see or hopefully as you can see this is pretty much what strip magic does it makes it nice and easy to get paint off and it gets it off I think fairly rapidly without any surface damage and without any fuss um, just put it in that doorway there sometimes when you're in a little small area it's kind of hard to get the, the cotton buds in um, but there we'll just have a little go at this back end and as you can see I'm not working hard on that I am just literally running it round in circles and you can see the pain starts to go what you tend to find is once it actually starts shifting and you break the surface tension of it and your mats can get underneath then all of a sudden it just all starts to come away really really easily um, but yeah, I like the stuff, it's good, it does what it's supposed to do. I'm not going to say it does what it says on the tin, because 
that would be stealing somebody else's advert really wouldn't it um, but yeah you can see there look we keep on having a go we kind of back down there now bear in mind how many coats of paint I said this was so we've got an original um, I think it was black then it went green then it went black then it went blue so it's had several coats of paint to do with all hand painted um, so it's quite thick if you think about it it's not like airbrushing where you know it's a fine waft of mist that's gone over it this has been proper hand painting jobs um, over this entire thing but there you go that's where we've got to so far so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you back on pause again because you don't want to be bored watching all of this um, and I'll stick a clip on at the end showing you the finished article catch you in a bit bye bye hi folks so in part one you saw me applying the deluxe materials strip magic and boy did I pick a job to do here I, when I bought this it was black I admittedly painted it green and then I painted it blue and then I put another blue on but what I actually found when I started going through this model was that its real colour is blue so unfortunately on top of all the crap that I've put on it I had to go through a primer that was under the black and then get down to the original blue which is what you see now now that was all done with strip magic the only thing I did do if I'm honest is used a toothpick occasionally to get into the little crevices I didn't bother taking anything off the front if you can see that I think you can because it's going to be black anyway um, and then all I've done is once it was all finished I've gone over it with a wire brush and some mets just a little tiny wire brush not a stiff thing just to try and knock off any final remnants but that's it so if you think about it that had on it on top of its original brew a primer a black coat a green coat a blue coat and another blue coat so that's five layers of paint that we've gone through but we've got back down to its original colour so what I'm going to do now is um, I'll prime this up that'll show me if I've got any defects um, but that's it strip magic so there's one there's another one that we've took down that one was one of the ones that went horribly wrong in blue if you can see it better figure out which way I'm going here that was another one that was done you've seen those put those on the other day um, I'm just in the process of tidying them up ready to primer and another one because try and class 31 to cheap and my class 40 which has now also had all of its grills all the paint's been taken out um, this one just needs a bit of a wash down now um, before we actually put the prime so I've got one, two, three. so I've got five models all sitting there ready to prime and then I'll get on with those anyway that'll do for now I'll catch you later hopefully you found that useful if you can get through five layers of paint must be worth having a go at see you later folks bye Thank you.